Hello, everybody. Get started. I want to address somebody again, being childish, blocking, removing comments. That's not cool. So, you better think about what you're doing and what you keep doing and you, all the words you're saying to me because I don't appreciate them. There are going to be consequences. So, need to figure it out. Otherwise, there's going to be a problem. So, that being said, I want contact and I want um, things worked out. Hey, Gorilla. So, I want a contact in the morning from somebody. And I want apologies and I want uh, all kinds of stuff. So, anyways, what you, <laughs> what you pooped? Yeah, I'm pooping. Yeah, I made, I, I, um, you're the first, you're the first poop. Um, I made the, um, Cheetos mac and cheese individual, individual portions. I've still got the other, I wanted to see what this, this was going to be good. And you only add water to it. There's no milk, no butter. And this is the plain, the plain cheese. So I don't, I don't know. Just, um, yeah, Mario, but, um, yeah, kind of let it cool a little bit, <clears throat> but that's all it is. That's all I'm doing tonight. I was gonna, eh, I was gonna do some hot stuff, but I, no, nah. didn't, I don't think I want to do that right now. I'm still scared of that hot, hot stuff. So anyway, how you guys doing? Hey, Art of Reed, how's it going? Thanks for stopping in. And like I said, I finally found this at my neighborhood uh, Walmart market. Yeah, cheesy with it. And still kind of waiting for it to set up still. <laughs> and I think I might add some of this in. <laughs> I don't know. I have some of this. Sweet Baby Ray's hot sauce. <laughs> yeah, Paul. Tonight, I'm drinking um, different. I am drinking C4 Purple Frost. Purple Frost. Purple Frost. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Purple frost, purple frost. Yeah, it tastes like purple. Hey, seven. Oh, okay, well, thanks for dropping in for a minute. Like I said, I'm sorry I was on a little bit late. I was doing a, I was doing a couple of little reviews, and I was having issues with somebody. They know who they are. So, anyway. All right. So, here we go. This is the, finally it's cooling down. This is the Cheetos Mac and Cheese individual servings. They were 97 cents for this little packet. Hmm. Not too bad. Hey, Kyle. Yeah, these aren't too bad. I like the um I like the ones in the box better cuz you could put um butter and milk in them. But these aren't bad. The the regular cheese, it does taste like you added Cheetos. Now, the good thing to do would be to get um a bag of Cheetos and crumble them up and put them on top. Mix them in. Make it more more cheesy. And they have the jalapeno and then they have the Flaming hot. Now, if you mix those in, I found them at Walmart Neighborhood Market. The individual ones, and then the, I got the boxes again, too. 
But these ones, you just microwave them in the cup, and there you go. So, yeah, not too, not too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and... I mean, it really does taste like Cheetos, like you're having Cheetos and mac and cheese. It's not the regular Kraft uh, mac and cheese topping. It does taste more like the Cheetos. That's so, here we go. Now it's hot mac, it's hot, hot Cheetos. I don't know, anyway. So there we go. Hmm. Well, that gives it a little bit. <laughs> so how's your guys' weekends going? Or how did, how'd your weekend go, I guess? Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of heat on that one. I mean, you could add regular hot sauce or ketchup. Sometimes I do ketchup. Um, sometimes I'll put um, cheese, a hamburger in here, or hot dogs, or I don't know other things. But um, yeah, not bad. Like I said, for single serve cups, are pretty good. And all you got to do is put it for three minutes in the microwave. You add water up to the line. And then you put the cheese sauce after you've microwaved it for three minutes. There you go. And they're kind of cool because they're spiral. Spiral noodles. The noodles themselves are good. So anyway, I've been working on a bunch of videos. I've been working on um, a couple other things. I've got some interesting stuff coming up for you guys in future reviews. There may be a doozy of a live stream. Someone doesn't uh, straighten up. <clears throat> and that's a guarantee. Hey, world sensitive sound. So, yes, a little bit of a mac and cheese. Mac and Cheetos, I guess you want to call it. So. <clears throat> hey, Harden. How's it going? Yeah, mac and, mac and Cheetos. This is just um, plain bold and cheesy. I do have the other ones, but I'll, I'll do those on another one. Yeah. Uh, I've been better. But, um... <laughs> I, I could, but... Uh, I want to... <laughs> I was almost going to do that flaming, the one, the super hot, <laughs> the super hot noodles. I was going to do that, but I said, no, uh-uh. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. What is it? Molten chicken? <laughs> I don't think I want to die that way. <laughs> Yeah, I have to do it something else. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have tried this one or not, but it's actually pretty good. But I kind of like the one you make yourself in the box. Boil it. It's creamier. A little more flavor. Meh, I don't know nachos or something <clears throat> we'll see <laughs> maybe I could <laughs> you know that ghost pepper donut was disappointing 
I thought for sure it was going to be hot, and it was nothing. You know. <laughs> yeah, the cups are not. I like the box better, but I I never I didn't try the cup because I couldn't find the cup before. But in a pinch, they'll do. And then they also have the the shapes like the ABCs and whatever else. Star Wars and I don't know what else. I know I wish, you know, if you were Yeah. Well, anyway, we'll see about doing something in the future. And let's see. There you go. No more mac and cheese. <laughs> I will give you guys... I did an official review, but I... um. I have a little bit leftovers. So uh, I'll just go through the, I'll go through this, just a little mini on-screen review for you guys. <clears throat> you mean the Pocky one chip challenge? <laughs> Mean that one? Uh, yeah, already did it. <laughs> already did it a couple weeks ago. I know you've probably been like out of circulation, but yes, I did it uh, a couple weeks ago, and I survived. And I got a coupon for the free bag of ghost pepper. I've done that before. It was pretty it was pretty spicy. It was a little spicy, but it was mostly that when it hit the back, I kind of I don't know. Hey Kenneth, whenever I get that the reaper pepper, it it makes me like um I don't know. Causes like a a reflex or something. I think it's the way that that pepper is. It makes me Kind of a little bit sick. But anyway. Hey, Ruth Marie. Okay, so. Oh, okay, well. Yeah, um, that was pretty hot. I'll have to give it. And luckily, it was only one chip, so it was gone quick. But I will do a... I'll do a quick mini review for you guys. I'll... I'll yeah. I will show you guys... Something that I got coming up. I, I, I filmed an official review, but... <laughs> I found these at Walmart, too. Walmart Neighborhood Market. I'm sure they do. <laughs> All right. At the Dunkaroos. <laughs> right. Little Dunkaroo cookies. And they have the little frosting. So there you go. I mean, you could make your own jar of frosting and cookies, but they're cool. No, I think they just had a D on them. Yeah, just little tiny cookies and a little thing of frosting with the sprinkles in it. They also used to have a chocolate one. But 
I mean, they're, they're cookies. Cookies and frosting. So, <clears throat> there you go. This one's actually good. This is what I'm having. Purple Frost C4. Maybe they were. I don't know. I thought they came in like a box or something. I don't really remember. They were like from the 90s, I think. And I, I, don't, I don't know that I ever had them when I was little. I'm sure I didn't. Remember, I had the cheese and crackers. They had cheese and crackers, pretzels and pretzels in there, and then also uh, the peanut butter and, and crackers, and a little red stick. That's kind of like that. What's that? What that was? But yeah, these are okay. They were supposed to be at Seven Eleven, but I didn't find them at Seven Eleven. And I didn't find some of the other stuff that was supposed to be there yet. I'll go out and look for some things. The thing is, is that cheese wasn't really cheese. It was like Velveeta. <laughs> Remember that? Remember the Velveeta? Oh, yeah, the craft ones with the little stick. Thanks, Kenneth. And they, well, then they had peanut butter, and then I think they had pretzels. <laughs> Velveeta. Velveeter. <laughs> government cheese. Yeah. The government cheese, and you spread that thing on it. It's raining? It hasn't rained here. We need rain, too. And if you were like me... You took one cracker and you put like half the cheese on it. And then the last one got like a little bit. <laughs> and then, well, sometimes you just eat the cheese. <laughs> Stick your finger and eat the cheese. Kind of like cheese whiz. Man, we don't have rain, man. It is dry. It's been like in the 80s and 90s here. Go figure. I know. They didn't give you enough cheese for the crackers. Wow. Well, be safe. With that rain and the lightning and all that stuff. It has been hot here. And hopefully it'll start cooling down. Maybe we'll get a little rain. But yeah. And I just um I just got something too and they were real cheapo. On the toppings, I should have learned, but oh well. Yeah. Yeah. And I have to work on some reviews, guys. Um, I think I'm going to try for next week and i'm gonna have to try and i'll try and put them up like back to back because i went somewhere different yeah i think i know what you're talking about but i have to i have to work on getting those reviews out because i did like four reviews at one place. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, Ritz and Ritz and cheese. I have some Ritz here somewhere. I like the the cheese whiz in the can. The bacon cheddar. Yeah, I'm not really into either one of those. No Disney or Marvel. Not testy. 
แต่แบบอืมไอไอฮับริทส์และไอฮับพีนัทบัตเตอร์นะ I didn't I did the one chip um just on its own it wasn't alive I did the toe of Satan and the gummy bear one I don't, I don't even think I did a. I didn't do even do a premiere. You bought them all. Okay. Okay. No problem. It's it's there. But it was um. Really harsh. This point, I don't think I prefer Burger King over McDonald's. Believe it or not. Yeah, you did. That's right. Yeah, man, that was like, that was rough. <clears throat> that was really rough. Um, that Toa Satan got me, man. At least with the gummy bear and the one chip challenge, it was over quick. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Susie Q's. Yeah, I know that. I've I've heard Hungry Jacks is down there. Yeah. Well, we'll see about that. Um, hang on, guys. I could, I could make some uh, Ritz and peanut butter if you guys want. <laughs> I just have a little bit of Ritz and I have a little bit of peanut butter, but nothing exciting about that. Yeah, well, we're hanging in, so there you go. And I don't even have, I didn't even bring out Yoda tonight, <laughs> so he's still chilling. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It might not be so good. Who knows? Maybe I waited too long. I should have dried them. But have you tried that? Um, have you tried that super hot noodles? <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that one. I don't know if you were here. When I showed that one that I got, uh, <laughs> fuzzy. You don't want funny. Hang, hang on. Have some peanut butter, and I have some crackers. I've already voted, and I'm not telling you who. I've sent my ballot in. My ballot is already in, and has been accepted. So, doesn't matter who I voted for because it's already it's already counted. All right, so I got a Ritz cracker. Peanut butter. There you go. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, yeah. What I did get was, have you seen this one? They have new ones. Molten chili chicken. Got six peppers on it. <laughs> Molten with fire chili sauce. I was going to. But. This has, then they got other ones called, um, Sizzlin' Rich Pork and Scorching Sesame Shrimp. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do that tonight. I will do it another night. Yeah, this one. I actually got two of them. Found those at Walmart, too. And then, some of you guys didn't see these the other night. They have this one. Tapatio, Tapatio, original flavor. That's just plain Tapatio. And then they have two other ones that I got. They're in the small ones. Tapatio chicken. Chicken in a, it's in a little little thing. <clears throat> this is the one I'm thinking of. Um, might not be so good. Um, tapatio, extra spicy. <laughs> yeah, it's got all the hottest, the hottest flavor of tapatio. And then I got. Um, got some of these they had there too. Normally you have to get these in the packs. This is, um, Samyang. This is, uh, hot chicken. Hot chicken flavor. And then I got this one, which normally you have to get in the pack too. Two times spicy in the bowl. So yeah, I got those as well. These are just going to be hot, those other raw ones. But these are, yeah. And I got another one um, and a black one. Yeah, I got, that's where I, I don't know if I got them from the 99 cent. I think I got them from my grocery store. They started carrying all these different ones. But I got a lot of cool ramen to try. different things yeah I went down the aisle and I was like whoa they got some cool ramen in here tapatio shrimp tapatio chicken tapatio um all kinds of different ones yeah that's where I normally get those um the Korean noodles depends cheaper is cheaper to go hey hey C squad it's cheaper to go to the grocery store, um, but they don't have as good snacks. Sometimes, so yeah. Yeah, basically, not much in there. But I'll put in um, extra vegetables, sometimes leftover meat, if I have it. It's best like if you do stir fry or if you had a roast or something, put them in their leftover chicken. I'm not a big oyster person, so I don't think I'd do that. But yeah, hey, maybe. Yeah, you know what? Tapatio is tough to get. Uh, they don't put it too many places, so I don't know.
But yeah, C squad, I was, I already went through it already. The mac and cheese Cheetos. Mac and cheese Cheetos in a cup, they're all gone. <laughs> a little snack tonight. I used to have to work at a place and they had smoked oysters on pizza. I couldn't handle it. <laughs> they had a gourmet pizza with smoked oysters, um, crab, and shrimp. I used to have to open those cans of those smoked oysters. Ugh. Anchovies and all that. Nah. Mm -mm. Okay. Not quite sure what that is, but I have tried uh, some stuff. Yeah, the smoked oysters, a little can used to be like five, six bucks for like a tiny little can. It was like gourmet. And the anchovies and the sardines in a can. Oh, uh, yeah, it, you know what? Mm. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe they've gone down. But I haven't, actually, I haven't been to the I haven't been to the Dollar Tree. Hey, Sonny. Um, but I actually, I have, uh, I got some plans again. Uh, coming up, uh, when's the 29th? Uh, that's a uh, Thursday. Yeah, I have some plans on Thursday. So I'm going to see how that goes. Well, okay. How about why Alabama? Alabama. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> Go to Alabama. Maybe just meet up with, uh, you know, the Duke boys and <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Alabama and the Dukes, them Dukes, them Dukes. No, that was Georgia, though. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> yeah. But um, now I will. Uh, I will have another adventure coming up uh, in a, in about a week. So we'll see, see what happens. But it should be interesting. The last the last road trip was fun, and that was like totally unplanned. Um, to do that um, ghost pepper donut. I didn't even think I was going to do that. I, like, did it on the spot. I'm going to have to go check a couple other places out again. I saw a lot of cool stuff out that way that I wanted to check out. I got a little bit of road trip coming up, so... I'll probably be able to find other things norm that I normally um, don't do because they're not in my town but it was fun definitely fun you gotta um, I gotta at least get one I'm gonna try and shoot for Tuesday <laughs> no no <clears throat> I don't know, man. That those smoked oysters are just ugh. I'm not big on smoked anything. No, nope. uh-uh. I haven't heard of that one. <laughs> they spill. Well, yeah. That's all. That's all you need is uh, oyster oyster juice everywhere. Yeah. What was the other one they used to have? Um, oh, anchovy, sardines, um, kippers. That was another one. They'd have kipper. Or smelt. 
Yeah, those were, those were gross. I liked, um, I actually liked the crab, crab in a can, crab meat. Grilled cheese. No, not those. I'm drinking C4 Purple Frost. That's tonight. I had some Hogan. I had some Cheetos mac and cheese. Yeah, it's pretty much like grape. Uh, grape Kool Aid, Grape Gatorade. One of the. Yeah, I have. I've heard of ACDC. I can't do that voice right now. I'm a little bit hoarse, so I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, man, that Velveeta's not cheap, especially if you get it like in a big block. Ten, twelve dollars for a big block. Government cheese, they used to hand it out. <laughs> hey, Sonny. She's back. I don't know. But then you get the, the, the cheap Velveeta. If you can't afford the Vel Velveeta, they get the store brand, um, what do they call it, cheese, <laughs> I don't know, it's like cheese food or whatever they call it, cheese loaf, uh, not anymore, <laughs> no more Hershey bars. <laughs> funny you should say that i got a i got a hershey bar review coming up so that's where it went meow oh okay processed cheese that's what it's called processed cheese food and that's what you feed to the cheese <laughs> to make it grow up. Like the, um, you know what? Um, I don't know that we get too much uh, Australian food here or snacks or anything like that. I don't know if they ex import them or not. Sometimes you can get them at import stores. Sometimes you can get them they have like a thing you can get it like once a month you get a box shipped to you but uh yeah i don't uh i don't uh, have too much around here i know there's um asia there's a place called cost plus imports and they get different things so they may have some there uh i know they get stuff from japan yeah cost plus is the closest one they get things from japan germany um other places uh you know what either that or marmite i was trying to um have people to uh tell me about the vegemite i think you can buy that in the stores here i'm not sure i <coughs> i think i've seen it <coughs> um well you could the thing is, is you have to just do little tiny, tiny, tiny bit, spread thin on toast with butter. So I've heard. <coughs> I almost tried that. I saw it there. Nope. No bank notes. I used to collect some of the state quarters, but not anymore. But yeah, I almost, um, I think that's going to be one of the next things is that f breakfast or the French toast sticks. That's going to be the next one. 
I did get the... <coughs> I did try the chili burger. <sighs> I've tried a lot of stuff lately. Yeah, well, that's basically what it is. No, you know what? There's, um, I don't know that th there is a Blaze somewhere. I've never been. But yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> just to let you know, I'll go, I'll go down my list of things that I've reviewed that I still got to do, um, put the reviews up on it for so. <clears throat> See, where did I go? Yeah, I got that too. I just didn't try that one. Um, see, I, I went to um, Jack in a Box. I went to, um, well, Carl's Jr.'s. I just put that out. Um, Jack in a Box. KFC, A&W. Um, no, I did another one. El Pollo Loco. I went to my uh, local uh, cheesesteak place. Got something there. And um, well, there's another. There was another one, but then I've got, I've got another one. That's going to be four, four reviews at a undisclosed location, <laughs> somewhere I've never been. They skimped on my chili. They skimped on the chili. They, they hardly had any chili on it, which was sad. I should have known. I should have asked them for extra chili. Yeah, the Cheetos macaroni was good. The Cheetos mac and cheese was good. That was the individual service. I still got the other ones. Yes. Oh, that's the other one. Yes. I did do Subway. I went to Subway the other day. So, yes, I did the Subway. I've done the Jack in a Box. I've done uh, <laughs> KFC and A&W. I did, actually did two things at A&W. <laughs> so yeah, I've been I've been busy, man. I've been uh... well. The Cheetos one's a little different because it tastes like Cheetos. <laughs> True. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I did the Dragon Belt, the Dragon Freeze, and then I did the the Stacker. It was disappointing. But yeah, I need to go. I need to go to a couple places. I want to try the um, couple other items that local that I want to try as well. Plus, there's um, there's actually something over at Wiener Sissel. Um, I don't think there's. Oh no, I take that back. I do have a new drink review coming up from A and W. I got that. And then I got, you know, the regular bangs and all that stuff. Yeah, I did. Dragon Freeze. Tried that one the other day. And I don't know if they're going to come out with a new one. I should have tried that. I wanted to try the one when I was at the one place, but yeah. maybe next time. I might try something different too. Oh yeah, Baja Blast, that's okay. And I haven't seen it in the stores anymore, so I guess it was only around for summer. 
I've not seen that. Yeah, that comes and goes. Oh, yeah, and I did have the um, vanilla Pepsi. Found that vanilla Pepsi. What else? I found a couple bangs. <clears throat> I got some C4s. I got some other drinks. Um, coming up in November, I'm going to have some... I don't know, some drinking shows, maybe. <laughs> Stay tuned for those. Drew's, <laughs> Drew's drinking show, I guess. I hate that. Yeah, they, they don't listen. Oh, yeah, I did a, I did a Popeye's. That's right, I did Popeye's, too. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to do that review, though. <laughs> Tell you the truth. That was such a fail. <laughs> oh, it's not even worth it. And I don't want to go back there and redo it. <laughs> I hate Popeyes. I actually got Popeyes for dinner the other night. <laughs> I got a deal. And I tried, you know what? I, I, was, I was thinking of doing it. I was going to do a review. I said, nah, no, screw it. I actually got that... Um, um, yeah, I got the one, uh, the pie, the raspberry cream pie. It was okay. Oh, no, the, the item that I reviewed was, uh, trash. <laughs> I think they screwed up my order. I didn't remove the like button, still there. But, um, I don't know. There's thumbs up and a thumbs down. Yeah. Yeah, but I tried it. The item was bad. <laughs> it's like they overcooked it. And it was not... It was not ghost pepper. <laughs> it didn't taste like ghost pepper anything. So it was awful. I think I had one that I, I should I should just put it up as a fail. Because <laughs> I didn't even finish the review. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll put it up. I think I still have it up. I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that one. It was funny. So I didn't know it until I got halfway through the review. It was like, you know. <laughs> I had the picture. I had everything ready to go. I got it all up there. Break into it. And... Yeah, that was what, that was <laughs> what sucked. <laughs> it was supposed to be the blueberry cream pie... Or blueberry cheese pa cake pie. Got in there. <laughs> Broke it all open. Ready to go. That's apple pie. <laughs> it's like, oh, man. And I didn't know that until I was already gone in a way. And... Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah, Poppy's, Poppy's good. <laughs> That was so funny when he got busted there the other day. <laughs> I shouldn't say anything because <laughs> he might show up. No, I don't think he'll show up tonight. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it because it's not even a real, it's not even a full review. It's just like, ah. Uh, trash <laughs> I call it Drew you know, well he's got poppy runs but well I, I like apple pie but I was supposed to be reviewing the blueberry pie <laughs> nah kind of sucked too because then I would have had to go back 
go through the drive through and tell them they gave me the wrong thing and the whole big issue, so, eh. <clears throat> oh, I did try, I did try a pie. <clears throat> yeah, I guess. Or I could call it a, a fail. <laughs> fail. Blueberry cheesecake fail. But I did try a new pie. <clears throat> and that will be coming up soon. <clears throat> it was actually pretty good. And no, it wasn't the fried, uh, the, the fried, uh, mang uh, fried, uh, raspberry cheesecake pie. I had that. It was okay. Yeah, blueberry blooper. That's what we'll call it. But I did, I did try something. A pie. Give you guys, I'll give you guys a hint. I tried a peach mango pie. I tried a peach mango pie. That was actually pretty good. Very small, but it was good. Actually, I should go up to Nations. My local Nations has um, burgers and they've got uh, pies, all different kinds. But it's just regular pie. It's not like... They got like banana cream and cherry and apple. And they got them all on display. <clears throat> they're pretty good. Plus their burgers and chili fries are good. And their omelets are pretty good. Hash browns and omelets. Although they wait way up on their prices, man. <clears throat> when I first started going there, there was like... An omelet was like $5. And now it's like... Uh, Eleven dollars for an omelet, so like double their prices. They are good, and they got pies, pies and tarts, and then they got uh, breakfast. Yes, a pot pie sometimes. Pot pie. Um, that's the other thing I might want to try and do is the um, tamale pie, where you put like the um, cornbread over, and then you put the the stuff down, and you put cornbread. Shepherd's pie. Did I make... I need to make that. I need to make a good shepherd's pie. Maybe that'll be one of the next dinners. What's for dinner? But you got to get it... Uh, got to get it right. You got to get the, the veggies and the meat and the sauce. And then the mashed potatoes. Some people do sweet potatoes. I don't know. But yeah, the last, I actually did that uh, corn chowder the other day. Yeah, I know. I hate that, man. When you go down there and you pay all that money for it, and it's not a lot. Or if you go like to a um, local um, diner and it's like $12 for a burrito or chipotle or something like that. You pay like $12 for a burrito. That's not that great. Yeah, I hate that, man. Or like if uh, there's got local places here and they go like, they're like gourmet burgers. Like $9 for a burger and then like $5 for fries. And it's not very much. They got a place I was looking at. It was called... Um, God, what was it called? Um, some kind of burger, burger ID or burger or something. And it was like nine dollars for a little tiny burger and all this other stuff. And I'm like, that's just too much money for a burger. So you know, they're supposed to be gourmet or whatever, but yeah, can't see paying ten, twelve dollars for a burger. And then you have to buy the fries on top of it. Yeah, it, it is a ripoff. I don't like having to pay all that, you know, $25 for burger fries and a Coke. That's a little much. I know you want to support your local 
your local stores and stuff you know whenever you can but yeah I'm, I'm with you there I don't like to I don't like to pay all that kind of money and then you know get it home in it's trash <laughs> There are a couple good places in town that are worth, they're actually worth the money. Good size burritos, good size uh, burgers. They're local places. Now the pizza, that's another thing, man. My um, pizza parlors around here, man, they charge you a fortune for their pizza. The the high end ones, you know, you got you got Domino's, you got uh, Little Caesars in there, fairly cheap, and Papa Murphy's is actually pretty reasonable. Uh, we have a farmer's market here on certain days, but I don't know. I think they're a little bit, oh, farmer boys. Yeah. I think they're a little bit um, expensive too out there. And I know they get like food trucks and stuff like that, but I don't know. They might may, they might be stopping those soon. I think that's mostly like in the summertime and then in the fall and the winter, I don't think they have the farmer's market anymore. Yeah, and like I said, unless I get a coupon or a deal from my pizza parlors, I don't like going. Because I got the round table the other day, and it was a special. It was $19.99 for a large. And if I didn't get that deal, it would have been $27 for a large, a large um, all-meat pizza was would have been $37. A personal one would have been ten dollars. A personal pizza, ten dollars. And if I would have got the like the large combos, like thirty-five dollars. So uh, that's really expensive for me. That's why if round table, yeah. Round table, they got good pizza, but yeah, it's just way too, way too expensive. That's why you got to get the deal when you can, either through a promo, through a coupon. I get a lot of coupons in the mail. Actually, I did when I went. Yeah, and then if you want it delivered, it's five dollars to deliver it. So yeah. Actually, the other day I went to I went to Subway. I got their new. I got their new one. I got a foot long. I had a coupon for five ninety nine for a for a foot long. Normally it would have been nine nine seventy five or something like that for a foot long. It's not expensive for a, a Subway sandwich. Ten dollars. Yeah, ten dollars for Subway. Yes. Without the coupon. Now, if you buy it through the app and you, the, the new promo now is buy two, get one free. Yeah, that's what I say. I, I said I used the coupon for $5.99. But yeah, they, um, they, they get coupons in there and it's like buy two foot longs, get one free. Some of them, if you use the app, you got, um, buy one, get one. Some of them, if you get, uh, a buy a meal, you get one. Buy a foot long meal, and then you can get another foot long free. Uh, I don't know. It's really expensive. No, no, no. I I went in person and got it. But I get coupons in the mail, actual paper coupons, coupons. But yeah, if you use the Subway app, sometimes, yeah. No, I am not. I am not kidding. No kidding, kidding. The Subways here are uh, atrocious with their... Uh... Yeah, that's why I'm saying. I'm not going to get three um, footlongs <laughs> for, what, 20 bucks. Yeah, not mine. Not mine. And you know what? They closed a bunch of the ones around here. Now we've only got like two or three in the town. We used to have like 
six or seven. But yeah, they, they closed a couple. I don't know. That's why I like going to Togo's. They got, they're, um, you get a lot more for what you pay for. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's why. But I have to admit, the, the chicken was good. Really? What was it? Oh, it was just a... Uh, I don't know. Have you ever done <laughs> cream cheese or uh, Roquefort or <laughs> anything like that? The, the soft cheeses? Brie? You know what? It's been a long time since we had a Blimpies. I know we had one. And they got rid of all the Quiznos, too. No Quiznos. No Blimpy. Yeah. We used to have a couple places here that were actual delis that did. Yeah, I think they closed all the Quiznos. They were crap anyway. I didn't care for them. I didn't like the Quiznos because everything was toasted. I did not like Quiznos. The sandwiches were toasted. They made them hard. Plus, they put too much stuff on it. I want a plain sandwich. I don't want a, you know, rosemary herb uh, <laughs> aioli. Yeah, the, was it rosemary and herb bread with... Uh, Garlic aioli and cracked black pepper roast beef and horseradish, <laughs> horseradish uh, cheese. You know, this is like too much stuff going on. I want a roast beef sandwich, period. I don't want all that other frills on it. So, I, and I don't like it toasted. Yeah. I've been to Jimmy John's. Uh, they're okay. Hey, Andrew. Gutierrez. But I have not, uh, I haven't been there. I did a couple of, I did a couple of the Jimmy John's. I might have to make my way back there. I think, I think this year I can get a free one on my birthday. Because I had the app. And we'll see. So that's what I'm going to start doing, is start looking and to find out what I can find for my birthday. You know, a lot of places will have free things for your birthday or your birthday week. You can get free items. So you get like, you know, free sandwich, free Starbucks. I think you get like a free cookie or ice cream cone or something like that. That's the one I want to go to. I, I got to go down there. Got to check it out. My Togo's, just the one, the one by me, has soft serve ice cream, sundaes, um, and like uh, frappuccinos. Somehow they got ice cream. So I can get like milkshakes, um, soft serve, sundaes, just at the one location, not at the other one. I don't know. That's that. I, I want to try it. I want to try a cone. I want to try a some kind of a Sunday. Oh, cake, cake pops. Yeah, I'll have to look. I think I had a thing where you can get a free drink on your birthday. We had one, but they closed up, so no firehouse subs. What else? We had a couple other ones. We, I think we had a um. Jersey Mike's, but I don't think that. Yeah, it's coming up next month. But we don't have to. We got a place here called Beach Hut Deli. We got one called um, Mr. Pickles. <laughs> and those weren't very good. Yeah, we don't even have a, a hometown buffet here. Yeah, there we go. Get my senior discount. Yeah, Soup Plantation. Um, what was that one? Super, super Sub. 
They had a they used to have a thing called Fresh Choice, but I think that closed. And um Sweet Tomatoes, they closed that too. Yeah. Sweet Tomatoes went under. Yeah, Fresh Choice, Sweet Tomatoes, all anything like that's kind of gone. No buffet. No buffet for you. <laughs> Sorry. No buffet for you. It was so big. <laughs> you was so big. Eat broccoli. <laughs> Take a doggy bag. Go home. We close. <laughs> you scare my wife. <laughs> yeah, no more buffets. Yeah, I think there's a lot of places that are actually closing. Hi, Tazzy. Are you back? Yeah, that's, um, it is bad. I wouldn't... Uh, you know what? And I went to... Where did I go? I went to a uh, local Mexican place and they still had the salsa bar. I was kind of hesitant about that because, you know, everybody's picking up the little scoop and they're putting the salsa in the, the thing. And I'm like, uh, it's probably not a good idea. But, you know, it's a local place. I guess they're trying to be... Yes, Taz, he's over here. Where are you, Taz? Be nice. No biting. He's been real a little, little aggressive today. A little, little bit of... Yeah, but, you know, I think some of these, um, you know, mom and pop stores, they don't really, they don't really think they need to take the precautions. Well, I don't know. I guess they figure they're going to I mean, the place is inside of a gas station anyway, so. Yeah, now he's getting food. So he's, he's good. But it's been a while. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't really want to deal with it. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deal with it, guys. Don't even. Don't even. Don't even mess with it. You come back with as many channels as you want. You're gonna get them all blocked. So. I know you guys like to have fun leaving all the little thumbs down and whatever. Kippered snack, I think it's um some kind of fish and some they do something to it. I don't know, they brine it or they put it in pack it in salt or something like that. I never, I never cared for kippered, kippered snacks. Where are you going, Tazzy? But yeah, that's what they are. Yeah, I understand, but yeah, whatever. They want to be negative and they want to do their little whatever's, let them do it. Next. Hey, Exploring Ginger. How's it going? Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not playing that stuff anymore.
I'm not really fond of fish anyways. Although, tuna fish is about the only kind of fish that I really care about, or filet of fish. Yeah, maybe she does. Ah, <laughs> uh, who knows? Yeah, so I got a bunch of I got a bunch of plans coming up. Things that I need to I need to review. I need to try them. Hi, Tessie. They're back. No, no, Tessie. No, Tess. Why do you do this? <laughs> he was fine till now. He's been getting really bad with this petting stuff. And if I don't do it, he bites me. Couldn't even cook dinner early. He was attacking people. Yes, he does, but, you know, biting people's feet and clawing them is not, not, not being nice. Tazzy. <sighs> Why do you do that? Flops on the floor, too. Well, I think he just wants attention. I don't know. He's bored. He'd been sleeping. He woke up. He wants, to... he wants petting. I don't know. But yeah, he gets a little bit he gets a little bit aggressive lately. Don't you, Taz? Now, no biting. <laughs> yeah. She's, uh, she's working on her grilled cheese. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> can't top. I can't. It, it will. <laughs> Yeah, well, sorry, I says. Oh. <laughs> Keep thinking about that. Can't think about that now anymore. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's what he says. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, well, I'm sure they'll do their thing <laughs> no but they'll they'll they just want to come in and mess around and just spread their little their little hate hatred hey let them go <clears throat> like so i'm done with all those negative people don't even want to talk about them don't even want to think about them they can go out for all the revenge they want Some people get very upset. <laughs> they blow their stack. But yeah, every time I think of every time I think of grilled cheese, I keep thinking about that uh, Sam Kinison, <laughs> old Sam Kinison routine. <laughs> you have to look that one up. It's not for, yeah, they are. It's not for, see, what are you doing? It's not for kids. Look up uh, Sam Kinison and grilled cheese sandwich. And Dr. Root. <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. <laughs> Tazzy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dr. Root, the best time on. They don't have that on anymore. They used to. Late night, the cable channels used to have those old, um, you know, sex talk television.
No, but <laughs> not when Sam Kinison gets a hold of something and <laughs> talking about grilled cheese and Dr. Ruth and <laughs> yeah. Tazzy, what are we doing? What are you doing, Tazzy? Come on now. Yeah, they had another one though. They had another lady, Dr. Uh, Sue, Sue Johansson. She did a sex talk thing too. <laughs> she was from Canada though. They had her on like a, some cable Lifetime. I think it was Lifetime. She used to have a sex, sex talk show or something. I don't know. She would demonstrate, she would do reviews of the products, you know, the adult toys, and then the people would call in. She'd take calls on the air live and offer them advice. Yeah, they stopped doing that, though. That wouldn't fly today. <laughs> Tazzy, hey, 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 don't. Don't chew the cord. Yes. They would do that. They would call in and they'd say, you know, I have a problem with my wife. Da -da -da. What should I do about this? Yeah, she was. Dr. Ruth Vestheimer. You are having good sex with your partner. <laughs> She's still around, and she's got to be like 90-something. No, he's just... He keeps pulling on the cord. Yeah, she was like in their 80s back when she did her show, and now she's got to be like way old. Dr. Ruth Westheimer. Yeah, they, they didn't want to talk about it back then. It was like, you know, we don't talk about that stuff in public anyways. I don't know, maybe she did die. I don't remember. Maybe she did. That's one of those ones, you know, you don't remember if she did or she didn't. And you know what I, I saw? I was watching something the other day, and it was showing, like, all the people that we've lost. Um since uh, the beginning of the year, there was a couple people on that list that I didn't even know had died. Yeah. Uh-oh, you lost your drink? Better find it. <laughs> Did it walk away? Yeah, because I was watching it and it was like, uh, some of them, you know, they were uh, like directors and screenwriters and stuff. I didn't know those. But there were a couple of them on there that I did not know had died. Yeah, that not that was not fun. <laughs> Burn the house down. Yeah, the one that really surprised me was, um, did you guys ever used to watch the series Highlander? Not the movies, but the, the TV series. The Duncan, Duncan McLeod and Clan McLeod. Well, I found out that the guy that played Richie, guy that played Richie Ryan, Stan Kirsch, he, he killed himself. At the, some, some like beginning of the year, committed suicide. Didn't know it. I was like, whoa, that one went by me. So yeah, and then there was uh, there were some other ones. Yeah, I didn't either. I just happened to run across it. I was looking at, you know, people that had uh, passed us, passed away and didn't uh, did not know that. I looked at it up. I looked it up, and I was like, whoa. I think he had mental problems or something. I don't know. 
Uh, I was sad to see that, though. I mean, I don't think he did much after that show. They killed, you know, they killed him off the show. And then that was kind of it. Yeah, they have. That's, that's the sad part. I mean, some of them, you know, I understand some. Ah, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, he did. I saw it on there somewhere. But then you get the ones that uh, fake. Oh, yeah. that Yeah, he didn't do, uh, after that series, I think he did, like, some movie... And a bunch of people from um, Star Trek have passed away. So I was watching, I was watching that, and I was realizing how many people from there have actually uh, recently died. A lot of them, mostly from Deep Space Nine, not from uh, Next Gen. But there have been a couple. Hi. Yeah, it's sad to hear it. Yeah, some of them, though, you miss them. And now, especially since, you know, they don't have um, regular shows or anything like that, sometimes you're going to miss them. So, uh, I don't know. Don't know what they're doing or they, you know, they go inactive for a while. They don't have anything going and. Sometimes they move on to other careers that are not as uh, glamorous. Like they, <laughs> body shops or <laughs> waiters or, you know. Yeah, sometimes it does. Okay, good. Stay in there. Yeah, man, it's a conspiracy. It's all, it's all a conspiracy, man. Poltergeist, that was a, that half the people on there died. They think it was a cursed, cursed movie. <laughs> Poltergeist. They're here. Moving to the light, Carol Ann. But yeah, that was a, that was a kind of a creepy, a creepy thing. And there was a couple other ones. Old movies that I've been watching, like, from the 80s. All the comedians and comedies and stuff. A lot of them, yeah, a lot of them are not around anymore. I was just watching Caddyshack. <laughs> I was cracking up at that one. Ooh, ooh, my arm. Was I watching that? I was. They moved to TikTok or Cameo. That's the other thing. Cameo. A lot of people go watch. Go look on Cameo. See who you could book for. You know. Some of them are cheap. Some of them are a little bit expensive. <laughs> oh yeah, and I was just reading about that. Um, the one, the lady from uh, Two and a Half Men, she died. The housekeeper. Well, she, I guess she had problems. But yep, yeah, a lot of people. I mean, some of them you just don't realize it, and then you go back and watch those um, old movies and old shows, and then it's kind of like. Um, Oh, on um, what? On on uh, her show or the uh, something else? <laughs> I don't know. I think her career died. <laughs> I can't. I can't take her, man. She's too perky. Yeah. 
Yeah, I will not watch that show. It's awful. Oh, God. <laughs> All the people they could have given a talk show to, I would not have picked her. Then they had, who did they give that one to? Um, Jerry O'Connell. They gave him a talk show. <laughs> He's a dork. <laughs> They get them, and then they, they have a little talk show for a little while, and then they end up canceling it. So, I don't know. I don't know how much longer that one's going to be on. Yeah, yeah, she went. Um, she died from, like, pneumonia somewhere along the line. And the one daughter died, and the um, psychic died, and I think the mother died, too. So, yeah, that's... that's um. Kind of a creepy, creepy thing. And then they had, well, the whole Bruce Lee thing. You know, the son, the dad, the wife. Now, she died a while, ta a while ago, too. Oh, well. I've seen a few of those um, remakes. I think um, Jimmy Fallon likes to make a lot of those. They redo music videos and other stuff like that. So you got your fur on me, Tazzy. I will have to... Where'd you go? <laughs> Disappeared on me, man. Hang on. I got, I got to step away for two minutes. Step away. Where did you go? <laughs> He's hiding. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where he went. Yeah, I don't know. She's one of she's one I don't really like. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, I don't like her, and I don't like um, Cameron Diaz, and I don't like um, what's the other one? Um, oh God, I can't think of that. Julia Roberts. I don't care for her at all. Anything with all those three movies in it? Three people. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of remember that. I think I actually watched it for some reason. There were a couple of better ones than that, though. Especially with uh, <laughs> some of the other people. Some of them were funny. I to watch the, go back and watch some of them. What did I watch? Um, been trying to watch some movie, different movies and stuff, and I think the second episode of Discovery is going to be on soon, so I'm watching that one. Star Trek Discovery. Wait for that. Not into too many other series like Netflix or anything like that, but.
Well, that would, but, you know, I don't know. I was just talking about that today. My mom. I was saying, you know, what would have people, you know, our grandparents and, you know, old time people have thought about the world today, you know, all this crazy stuff that the way they have to do things and, you know, old time um, people, you know, grandparents and stuff, they paid everything in cash. You know, they went in face to face. They didn't have computers. They didn't have, um, you know, all this stuff. It wouldn't have been anything like that. They would, I don't think they would have been able to cope in the world today. You know, if you got the old, uh, old, uh, old time, you know, beliefs where everything, you know, you went everywhere. You paid your bills in person. You paid it in cash. You went to the grocery store every day, paid in cash, or you had the people come to your house. So yeah, I don't, I don't think they could, uh, they could deal with what what's going on today. All right, thanks, Harden. Have a good one. Catch you on the next one. Yeah, I don't know, man. Very strange. It'd be a whole different experience. Definitely would be a whole different experience. Because they, you know, they were set in their routines. <laughs> so, yeah. Set in their routines. They didn't like to... Yeah, remember that? Yeah, the, the, the milkman, the... Um... Dry cleaners, they would come there. The Everything was in person, you know. You paid people in cash. You went down to the place. You paid your gas bill. You paid your electric bill. <laughs> would, not have been a, would not have been the way it is today. Called on the phone. <laughs> I don't think they could have handled, you know, some of them a long time ago. They didn't even have computers back then, so they wouldn't even know. That the whole cell phone thing would have probably be like, whoa. Yeah, exactly. Chip in your hand. Um, yeah, online numbers. That's all it's about. No more cash. They, they don't even, I've seen signs now. that say, um, we can't give you exact change, so you have to pay, yeah, you have to pay by uh, card or Apple Pay or something like that. They do not want you handing them money. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Operators. Yeah, you know what, that's what I got to... I gotta do the, you know I, I I the other day I took a road trip and I went to the bank and I got twenty dollars out because I I thought for sure I was gonna have to um I was gonna have to pay the bridge toll and I found out you don't pay the bridge toll now they send it to you in the mail because uh, I don't I didn't get there uh, they got a um, fast pass it's like a a little transponder you have to um, you have to go online you have to get this thing and you put it in your car and then it takes it it takes it out of your account you have to preload it and then when you go under the bridge it, it um, takes the money from your account but if you don't have one of those you go through the toll booth it takes a picture of your license plate and they send you the bridge toll in the mail because they don't collect tolls anymore you can't pay cash That's what they they will not they will not do it. So if you um, don't have that fast pass, pass, they take a picture and mail you the bill. Oh, she is ninety years old. Wow. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, so I'm going to be getting a bill for $6 for a bridge toll. <laughs> because I went through, they took a picture of my license plate. They will be sending me a toll in the toll in the mail. And I guess if I don't pay it, <laughs> they'll, they'll, I don't know what they'll do. But yeah, that's the way it works now. Cannot pay fees in person. You have to either buy the thing and then use that or pay it the one-time fee. And the worst part about that is, is what if you're from out of state? What if you're, uh, you had a rental car? You know, I don't know how that works. And people wouldn't know, you know. If you come in from out of state, you wouldn't know that they had bridge tolls. So, you don't know. <laughs> That'd be messed up, though. So, yeah, it was... Six dollars, yeah. Ruth, the best time I was. Ninety-two. <laughs> okay. Have a good night. Stay with your partner and have good sex. <laughs> That's right. If you are happy and your partner is happy, and you have good sex together. <laughs> I don't know, man. Don't make that grilled cheese. <laughs> Dang. Really? I think I saw something about that. She was going to be on there. They... She's been around a while, man. I saw an old one back from, like, what was it, 90? It was like 91. Benny Hill did an impression of uh, Dr. Ruth Westheimer. He was sitting on this big chair. It looked like he was this little little person. That was right before he died, but yeah, he was Dr. Ruth Festheimer and he was Roseanne Barr and I don't know. Did a couple of those characters back then. Uh, Yeah, they don't do that anymore. Mondays, the old cable shows, they used to have them on late night. Oh, I remember all those old, they, they were actually good shows, but now they, they don't really have anything on good. I remember they had the man show and what was the other one? Uh, Bob Bobcat's big ass show. <laughs> and uh, um, Chappelle show. Um, My Nemencia bunch of those old ones. Yeah, stand-up. Comedy Central had a lot of them. They don't have much on anymore. Yeah, she did. She would do that and they would talk about good sex together. He would have the... What was that other one? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, Dr. Drew and uh, Adam Carolla. Was it La, um, Talk Line or something like I, I forget what was the name of the show. Love Line or something like that, where they would just talk. They'd take calls. Yeah, that's it, Love Line. They'd take the calls and they, people would call in with their problems. <laughs> they don't have that anymore. Call-in shows and dedications and stuff like that. They'd talk to them. Yeah, it's been a while since that they had that on. Love line with Dr. Drew and Adam. Adam Cole. And then they had Yeah, the Man Show. That was a funny one. I actually watched a couple of those lately. <laughs> Girls jumping on trampolines. <laughs> and the juggies. 
Juggy dancers. <laughs> How old is that, man? Yeah, I think, yeah, he did some, um, he's doing some radio, radio talk show or podcast or something, I think. Yeah, that's what I, I, I'm pretty sure he's doing that. And then that Dr. Drew, I think he's doing some other thing too. But I remember they used to have that at night love line or whatever. Uh, Call-in shows. They don't do those anymore. They've taken away all the comedy shows, all the stand-up, all that stuff. All the good stuff. Blue-collar comedy. They used to have that. Um, stand-up. What was that one? Star Search? They used to have that. <laughs> yeah, they can't take cash because of COVID. Because they... They won't. They don't have uh, toll collectors anymore. Yeah. They will not put the toll collectors in the booths and take in cash anymore. So they mail you the bill. So. Yeah. Take a picture of your license plate. Mail you the bill. So all of a sudden I'll get a, I'll get something in the mail that says you owe six dollars, for a bridge toll. I should have smiled for the camera or done something, waved to him. I don't know. I don't know what through the thing. I think it just takes a picture of her license plate, though. So. Yeah, either that or you've got to buy the, the transponder through. Um, it's over here, it's called Caltrans, and you got to pay... You gotta pay so much for the uh, yeah maybe but if you got that transponder what you have to do is you've got to buy the it's like a little electronic like um, thing and then uh, you have to link a bank account and you have to pay money into it you know you put so much you load it up and then um, when it goes through it detects that you've got that and it deducts the fare, the fare from your account And you keep that in your car. So, yeah. But I'm not going to pay for, I think it's like 10 bucks. You have to pay 10 bucks to get the equipment, and then you have to pay whatever toll. Told you, you load it up, you know, put 20 bucks on it, put 30 bucks. And that's for people that do commuting. So, yeah. I don't do it enough. Yes, remember Dr. Ruth Vestama. Good sex. <laughs> I was laughing about that, though. Yeah, all those old shows, they do not put them on anymore. I don't even think they put them on in reruns anymore. Lifetime used to have... Lifetime used to have some shows on. You know, I used to like the old... Lifetime used to have a lot of old um, series and um, dramas and stuff like that. They don't do that anymore. It's all the, you know, the female revenge movies. <laughs> yeah, mother's... Uh, you know what? I actually watched that. <laughs> I actually watched Days of Our Lives. <laughs> it sucks lately. <laughs> Ever since they got, you know, rid of the main people and then the one guy died and, you know. Serious. I watched, I used to love Stefano. I got to find that shirt. I have a shirt. Somewhere out there I have a shirt that says, it's funny, it says, um, guns don't kill people, Stefano DeMira kills people. And it's a picture of Stefano. Yeah. He was my hero, man. I love that dude. He was like the ultimate the ultimate villain. Man, 
and then he passed away several years ago. And then they, they totally went downhill on the whole thing and stupid now. <laughs> but yeah. Back in the seventies and eighties, that's what my my mom used to watch it all the time and we only had one TV and one VCR and she would tape it and she would watch it when she came home. If you didn't want to watch Days of Our Lives, then you went outside and played. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, the Lifetime movies is about, you know, a woman who was wrong and uh, her struggle for her and her family and she gets revenge on the abusive boyfriend. An independent single mom's struggle to keep her family going. You know, it's like, that's all it is. It's always about the women that were wronged. That's all Lifetime, seems like that's all Lifetime TV is now. Just like, uh, is it, I think it's NBC. It has a Maury, Maury Povich, you know, it's a who's your daddy show. <laughs> who's the daddy? You are not the father. That's the whole show. You are not the father. <laughs> That's all they ever do. And Jerry Springer used to just be fights, you know. <laughs> Jerry Springer, okay, well. Let's bring her on out. Oh, no, you didn't. You're not fighting with my man. I'm, he's with me because he don't want to be with you. <laughs> yeah, well, like I said, I don't make the schedules. But, yeah, they, they've changed the whole. They've changed the whole thing. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I hear you, man. We get a bad rap. <laughs> Not saying anything in particular, but yes, we do get a... Yes, I understand. I get, I get a lot of crap. For stuff I don't even do. <laughs> but apparently I did do it. Even though it's physically impossible... See, like I said, you know, I've been I've been told that I've done all kinds of stuff that uh, it's physically impossible. That's um, against the uh, <laughs> against the rules of gravity and you know time and space. <laughs> but no, I did it. I went back in time. Back in time, 10 years, and had a baby from 10 years ago. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Yeah, I don't know how I did it. But apparently I did. So now I need to be on, uh, <laughs> I need to be on Maury Povich. And you are not the father. No, well, no, more than more than one. Apparently, I traveled back in time twenty years. <laughs> Had babies before there was YouTube. I don't know. I don't know how it's possible, but apparently it is. Time and space continuum rules don't apply. <laughs> Hey, who knows? Somehow it's possible. I got that DeLorean or the... I got the TARDIS. That's it. Yeah, I got a TARDIS. I can go back in time. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I love that, how they do that. You know, you're not the father. It's like, Tried with seven guys and none of them were the father. 
Like, who you been with? <laughs> who has this woman been with? <laughs> he tried seven different fathers, and none of them were the father of her baby. <laughs> Apparently, she got around. I don't know. I don't think so, but I have superpowers, I guess. <laughs> Put spells on people all the time. That's what I do. I'm the all-powerful Drew. You... Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know where the, where she hung out. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, yeah, I love those ones. And, um, you know, Jerry Springer and all that other. Yeah. 12 minutes of baby. There you go. Yeah. Baby daddy. I'm the baby daddy. Apparently. There's never any proof, though. That's the thing. There's never any proof. No documentations. No video, no nothing. No birth certificates. Never got taken in for child support. So I don't know. I don't know how it's possible, but somehow I got found out. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Somehow it's possible, but, you know, sometimes I just think people have really wild imaginations. Really wild imaginations, and they just, you know, say things, make up crazy stuff. I could do that, too. I could make up all kinds of crazy ideas and say crazy things. Doesn't mean they're true. Just means that, you know, you're saying stuff to be crazy, outrageous. Sometimes you you get a little bit, you know, mad or something. And you make up the most outrageous thing you can. Even though you know it's not true. And you just say, okay, I'm going to say, you know, kind of like the Mad Libs. Just put the words together and make a make a story. Bring all the words together and say, you know, something crazy. Alien mutant came down in his uh, electric zucchini, took his mind control powers, and took over. Um, took over the dog's mind, <laughs> and hypnotized everybody in the room, thinking they were a chicken. So, yeah, they used to have that. They did some Mad Libs and just throwing things. It didn't make any sense, and it was just craziness. No, I know you're not. I'm just saying there's, you know, just put random words out there, and you say it, and you don't mean it. You're doing it to just be outrageous, to make up, you know, crazy ideas, crazy stories. Yeah, Mad Libs were fun. I remember that. I had a, um, remember those pocket toys? They were called, um, I think it was called pocket toys. And they were like little plastic games and they had like marbles and you had to put the eyes in there. And then some of them were like the water games and some of them were, uh, other stuff like that. Mazes, you had to put the ball through the maze and stuff like that. 
I had one, it was a pocket game, and it was like Mad Lib's pocket game. You shook it up, and it had little tiles in there, and each tile had a word. And you shook it up, and it said, you know, the dog ate the banana. Eh, yeah, well. <laughs> anyway. Just, or you throw a dart at a board, and you just pick a random word. Random word generators makes a story. They also used to have the invisible ink games. Those were fun. You had the little booklets with the, pen, the magic ink pen. And you'd rub it on there and the words would show up. Word finds and um, connect the dots. A bunch of other stuff too. Do those all the time. Yeah, Mad Libs and then those little magic things. Also, they were like coloring, color by number. A uh, bunch of other. Choose your own adventure story. Yeah, Invisible Ink. Remember the Choose Your Own Adventure? You had to read it and then turn the page. Keep going, turning the page and the story finally work its way out. Remember those? Oh, yeah, all the old Invisible Ink and then the Mad Libs and um, just all the old stuff from when you were little. I don't have that anymore. Uh-oh, where are you coming from? <laughs> hey, now. Don't get on Zoolander on me, man. <laughs> yeah, they were. You can still buy them. I think they have them. Had Mad Libs and... Um, there were some other fill in the ones. Used to have them at parties or sleepovers or whatever. Remember that? Some of those old fun party games and things like that. Board games sometimes. But yeah, I kind of remember those. Not too many of the, not too many of them. Word searches, um, crosswords. Oh, what was the other one? There was another one. It was, um, you rubbed the pencil on it. There was like, um, it was like a blank page, and then you rub the pencil, and then it would shade the picture in. Something about that they had um, a portion of it that I guess that the lead would stick to it, and it would make the picture. You had to rub the pencil all over it. I kind of remember that. Uh, well, yeah, I guess I, I think you can, like Alexa or um, Siri might be able to do a Mad Lib. Some of them have the other little apps built in. But I, yeah, I kind of remember the one that was like, yeah, the pencil and you rubbed it on there and it made the picture. Somehow it shaded in the thing and it stuck to the, stuck to the lines. I don't know. It was like a, I think maybe it was like thermal paper or something. All those old um, things for kids to do. And then they have those magic, was the magic ink pens that um, you dip them in water and then you color on there and it makes color on the page. I've seen that. Somehow it, it uh, made the ink based on the color of the pen and then you rubbed it on there and you can make coloring 
Yeah, that was good for kids, you know, back then. All that stuff. Kept the minds occupied, you know. Kept them sharp. Reading. Taught reading skills. Creativity. Now, you know. They may have an app, but it's not the same. Remember all that. And Hangman. You used to have Hangman. Spelling. <laughs> Hangman and um, tic tac toe, <laughs> to basic games. Battleship. <laughs> graph paper, I remember that. Battleship on graph paper. Yeah, I still watched, I, I used to watch it. I didn't like when they redid everything, though, made the new versions of them. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> people don't maintain that knowledge. So, yep. Why can't Jimmy read? Because <laughs> they don't teach Jimmy how to read. <laughs> Little Jimmy. Yeah, they used to have all that reading programs too. Summertime reading. It, it is, you know, you really need to have an education, but it's a whole different thing right now. You know, homeschooling. Uh, I don't even know what's going on with the um, schools now. <laughs> I think some of them are starting to go back and I don't know the whole story. I'm not sure what they're up to and it, you know the the rules keep changing over here. Some of the places are open, some of them are not. Still don't have the retail open all the way. No dining yet. So it's getting kind of tough. I think it's going to be a while before they open everything completely. Some places are having movie theaters open, though. Oh, Ranger Rick. Oh, man. What else did they have? Um, highlights. Um, I remember... <laughs> I remember back in, in my day... They had the teen magazines. They were, um, let's see if I can get this right. One was highlights that was at the dentist office. But then they had, uh, well, of course, then the, the teen throb, heart throb ones. Tiger Beat. <laughs> teen, teen Steam and a um, couple of those other ones. But then we had, um, for kids, it was like, Television, and there it was called, um, God, the first bug me, uh, Dynamite, Bananas, um, then they had like a Games, Games 1, yeah, Highlights, no, it was uh, Bananas, hi, Dynamite, and they had like Starlog, and, um, eh, a couple of those other ones, like, um, that were movie and TV stuff. I remember I had Dynamite and Highlights, and then it was um, all the new TV shows, you know, like the, what is it, like Chips and Different Strokes and Charlie's Angels and Six Million Dollar Man. The other one that was funny was um, Mad, Mad Magazine and Cracked. <laughs> Crazy, they had that one too. Remember the Mad Magazine and you had the little fold out in the back? Spy versus Spy. <laughs> yeah, that was from Captain Kangaroo. But 
you know, they used to have all those, you know, teen magazines, I guess. Activities. And the, beater, the Reader's Digest, National Geographic, those were boring. I still keep getting the one in the mail. I don't even know how I got on a list. It's for men's health. <laughs> Uh, I I re barely remember that Ghost Rider. Barely. Yeah, mad and cracked and. Yeah, Tiger Beat, Teen Beat, Teen Steam. I don't. I don't remember all the one. <laughs> So, Super Lugs, Love and Kisses edition with Corey. <laughs> and all the, all the girls, ooh, it's Corey. Ooh. Which new kid on the block do you like? <laughs> yeah. Or do you like InSync better? <laughs> They don't have that they don't hardly have that anymore they used to have all the teen magazines and then they kind of kind of went under I remember all the girls used to put the posters up in their lockers heart throbs Sean Cassidy <laughs> wow date myself here yeah, Sean Cassidy um Rick Springfield. <laughs> oh, wow. Who else? Um, Bruce Springsteen. Uh, I don't know who was the... <laughs> People back then, man. In the 80s. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I mean, but they, you know... Not much about it, but it was always, you know, fashion and who's the hot guy, you know. Who's the hot guy this week? I don't know how they sold so many <laughs> magazines back then, but, you know, I guess if you were, what, like a 12 or 13-year-old girl... <laughs> That was your thing. See, they didn't have that. They didn't have it for guys. Guys didn't really like. You know, guys were like Playboy and Penthouse, but they didn't have like, you know, TV heartthrob women for guys. They didn't sell those. Yeah, I like the sci-fi, the Starlog and um, some of the other ones. Those are fun. Actually, I have an old, uh, somewhere I have an old Star Trek magazine from like 85 or something. I think it was like when Star Trek 3 came out. Oh yeah, Fangora, I forgot about that one. Monster magazines, yeah, Fangora, um, Starlog. Um, there were a couple other ones. Well, then, then you got the comic books too. People got into the comic books. Superman, Batman. Uh, some of them. Then there was like Star Wars. Buck Rogers. That was like a big thing. A lot of people were into the comic books. Or fantasy stuff. They had a magazine. I've still got some of them in their collector's editions. A Dragon Magazine. Dungeons and Dragons, all that. Yeah. 
think they might even had like well then they had like Looney Tunes and you know cartoon books like Garfield and yeah the Dragon Dragon Magazine I had I have issue 100 and issue 200 they don't do that anymore. They, I think I heard it was online, and I think they discontinued that. But they don't, they don't have that anymore. They don't put any more. Um, I don't think they're putting any books or modules out anymore. They did for a while, but it's kind of it's kind of dead. No one actually uses the books to play the game anymore. But that was the big thing back then board games and role-playing games and first edition uh, computer games back then. Electronic games, console, game consoles, old ones. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. I guess it's all the new high-tech ones now. I can't see, though, paying, what, Five six hundred dollars for a game system, and then you know fifty sixty bucks a game. That's that's just too much. But yeah, people are all into it, man. They got these high tech gamer setups, gaming chairs, keyboards, you know, joysticks, the whole game consoles, all that stuff. I've seen actual you know chairs with all the controls built into it. Um, Neon lights. Like a real high tech stuff. The chairs that like move around, gyroscope and I don't know man. Some people get way way into that stuff. And before all this stuff hit, they actually had um it was an e e games um competition. Where they actually had, it was somewhere in Las Vegas, where they had a competition for these um, video game players. They made big money playing, you know, the World Series of video games, I guess. I don't know what they were, if it was like... <laughs> yeah. But they actually had the people, that was what they did. They made big money. They were like, you know, game champions. It's like big time, like kind of like the poker competitions and the slot machine, you know, all before all that. They actually had the competitions. They had a whole um, rooms and, and, and events dedicated to that. But, you know, now I'm not going to do it, but I did see that. They, some some hotel over in Las Vegas actually had a whole... Um, arena e com uh, e games arena they had it all set up but you no know, no one's doing that now but it's just starting to take off so that was kind of that would have been interesting compete in the e games you know But yeah, now it's all virtual. You know, you you do it from home. You go on Zoom. You go on uh, whatever multiplayer. That was a big thing for a while. World of Warcraft, remember? Or um, what was that other one? Um, Halo. A lot of people would play the Halo. World of Warcraft, Halo, and I think uh, Rainbow Six. A couple other, you know, shooter competitions. Zero, Zero Dark Thirty, I think, was one. Yeah, World of War, Warcraft. There was one that was Di Diablo. Hey, Fleur. Fleur de Lis. But they, yeah, they had all those old um, things. I remember the one... That I was on for a while. It was um, Phantom Phantom Slot Machines. I'm doing okay. 
And every month you got a new slot machine. Yeah, that, I don't like to get all way involved in all that things like, you know, the whole multiplayer competitions and you go on the missions and, you know, sometimes I'll be there for hours. And then you have the whole microphone set up and Okay, let's go on a mission, everybody. I mean, that, yeah, like you said, just a quick in and out. I play, you know, slot machines or matching games or, you know, things like that. I, I play in a Harry Potter jewel thing, <laughs> match the jewels. Um,. Yeah, stuff like that. Just real simple, like you said. Real simple stuff. You play for a little while, try to get to the next level, and then that's it. But I don't I don't like to get into complicated. Yeah, I, I don't know if I got into Zelda. I got into, um, what did I like? Gauntlet. They had a couple Gauntlet games. Uh, used to play GoldenEye. GoldenEye. Uh, I think I played... Uh, South Park. Mm, a couple other ones like Donkey Kong. I remember Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> well, good old Nintendo 64. No, a lot of people will still play Mario Brothers and um, Sonic the Hedgehog. Some of those old ones, yeah. Good old style. Then you got into the old Atari games. Those were, you know, those were cool. I might have to see about if I could buy one of the new Atari systems that they've got. Multiple games. See if I could try that. I think it's at like 20 bucks. 20 bucks and you get like a joystick. It plugs into the TV and it's got multiple games you could play. The old style ones. Uh, pitfall and uh, <laughs> Pong, Breakout, Tank Battle, <laughs> old Tank Battle, that, that was classic fun, some of those old games, Fire, <laughs> Fire, yeah, Fire, I don't know, sometimes they have Fire, Fire's good, yeah, yeah it's like, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, I like to get fire sometimes, but, you know, like, not too much because I don't want to cause any problems, but, you know, fire's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't wait till that comes out, but it's not coming out till next year. I haven't heard anything about it. I don't know if they're still working on the... No, you shut up. Fart knocker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No way, man. It's mine. My remote. Put it down. Shut up before I wound your inner child. <laughs> Fart cracker. <laughs> and I'm gonna score. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna score. Like, you know. That chick was checking me out. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. You're never going to score. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just, like, playing around with her and stuff. Yeah, she, she's like, she wants me. <laughs> score big time. All the chicks. <laughs> no, you don't, can't ever score. You gotta walk up to him and you gotta go like, hey baby, <laughs> come to butthead. <laughs> That's a lame line. <laughs> you can't do that. Yeah, I can, Beavis. I got more than you. No, 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 you didn't. No, you didn't. Never gonna get any. Never gonna get anywhere. <laughs> butthead. <laughs> Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> we were roadies. 
I haven't seen that movie for a little while. Oh my god, I gotta put that I gotta put that video up. I gotta put that video up. I sh I should have done it earlier. <laughs> I got a I got a little video. I'll put after the stream I'll put it up on Instagram. Uh, crazy filters, I'm telling you. <laughs> I should have put it up earlier today. <laughs> it's gonna, you guys are gonna laugh. It's funny. They get those filters out there, you know, the crazy stuff, and they get. Yeah. No, I got one. I did a little, it was a little filter and it was, um, king of the TP. <laughs> Drew, king of the TP. He's sitting on his toilet paper throne. <laughs> toilet paper throne, looking for his TP. <laughs> TP. You will give me TP for the bunghole. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? TP is not a problem now. It was in the past, but now you can get TP everywhere. There for a while, though. Could not get it. People were hoarding it. Yeah, King of the TP Hill. Yeah, yeah there you go. New series. <laughs> it's good to be the king. <laughs> Just watch that, too. Yeah, got to go back and watch some fun stuff and old movies, get a little bit of laugh. You know, all the craziness that's going out there. You got to be you know, a little upbeat. Yes, we survived the TP wars, barely. And hand sanitizer, that's available now. Quite a, a lot of places have it. I think you could still get now Lysol and wipes. I think those are... A lot more available than they weren't once were. There for a while, it was uh, it was a little rough, but you know we're 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 getting through. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. It was crazy with all that. You know, shelves were wiped out. <laughs> people were stealing people's TP out of their car. <laughs> Wow, I'm telling you, man. Craziness. Buy one roll, get one free when you order an egg roll. <laughs> what was that? Did you just... Oh, that's what I thought. Tazzy. One, one egg roll or two. Free, free roll <laughs> with an egg roll. Free TP roll with an egg roll. Purchase of an egg roll, you get a free TP roll. So. <laughs> I saw that was, you know what was crazy was it was on Wish. They had cases of toilet paper on there for like $45. You could order it through Wish, but it would take like a month to get it. <laughs> Had individual roles. <laughs> eh, well, individual roles to for sale. Tazzy. You know they had that the one one item per per person, and they would they'd crack down on them. And when this first started, they had. Um, when it very first started, they had senior days that uh, between, like, certain days of the week, between, like, when they opened, like, 7 and 8 o'clock, it was free for the seniors to go. They wanted to give them priority. So they only opened the stores to seniors. It was, like, you know, Tuesday morning. First hour, seniors got first, got first go. 
Target, Walmart. Because, <laughs> you know, they got to pick up that toilet paper. Thing was, is they only gave them an hour. And that's not enough, you know. You got the seniors that uh, aren't as swift as everybody else. So it wasn't really fair. <laughs> That's what they wanted to do. They want to make special allowances for the seniors to give them the first hour to do their shopping. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, but they're not doing that anymore. <laughs> uh, oh, well. We'll see what happens. And they got the, you know, you get the holidays. So I'm glad they're not going to be doing that, uh, Black Friday anymore. Not in the stores, anyways. It's gonna still be online, but they're not doing the Black Friday in store sales anymore, and they're not gonna be open, you know, at 2 a.m. for everybody to come piling down. <laughs> yeah. That's true, man. Some people still probably have the, um, the, Safety deposit box full, a couple rolls. Charmin was worth a lot. <laughs> not now. Not not uh, not not near, nearly as valuable as it could have been. But yeah. Who knows? Uh, yeah so not too much else going on guys uh, it's been <laughs> yeah well, we'll talk about that not a whole lot going guys so I'll probably be back um, I think I'll be back Wednesday Let's see about the Let's see about that and then I, I got a lot of um, I got a lot of reviews that I gotta edit and put up there and then uh let's see i got a couple other things i gotta do and yeah what is it uh hi tassie yeah okay yeah so yeah it's next week okay i just want to check check my calendar so next week yeah i gotta do i gotta do something next next thursday but I got a few other things I got to work on. And then uh, hopefully if it starts getting a little cooler, maybe I'll do a lunch stream during the daytime. I know some people. Yep, I already did it. It's already been sent in, already been counted. It's all done. That's why I'm getting sick of hearing the ads. <laughs> Because I've already voted. Sent in my ballot. They received it. It's been been tallied. So it's all it's all good. Yeah, I got it like what was it last Monday? And I sent it in like the next day. So yeah. I've been voted. It's been voted, it's been recorded. It's all done. Some people didn't get their ballots yet, or some people are um, waiting to send it in, or some people are want to actually vote in person. So, but no, nope, I'm all done. I'm all done with that. I even got my somewhere. I got that little sticker that says I voted, but I'm not gonna say who. <laughs> confidential yeah mostly I voted for the local local people in the measures it was like the big that was the big thing they had all these um props and measures and local local people that was mostly what I was voting for
a lot of the things were like exclusive to here and counties and they wanted more money for other stuff and everyone's going to be a little different no i'm not saying nothing i'm just saying that's what it was mostly about the measures and the ballots in your local um district i guess everybody's going to be a little different on what they had to vote for It's always difficult to figure those out because, you know, if you vote yes, it does one thing. If you vote no, it does another. And sometimes if by voting no, you're giving them money. By voting yes, you're giving them money. It's kind of tough to figure all that. you got to really read the ballots. Yeah, but Well, thankfully, within, what, two weeks now, we'll, this will all be over and we won't have to worry about it anymore. So. No, I don't like to get involved in the politics either, but I'm just saying, unfortunately, that's what, what most of it is nowadays. I was watching, um, I was, watch, I was trying to watch a, I don't know, it was like a show or the new. I was trying to watch the news today. And in between the news, every time they took a break, 10 minutes of uh, ads for, you know, running for governor with well, this measure, that measure. That's all it was right now. Political ads and vote for this person, don't vote for this person. I get sick of it. Yes, yeah, so I, I have to tune into something else. So I've been watching old movies. I recorded stuff. Uh... Yeah, other I've been watching other things. I want I recorded it. I got to go back and watch it. They have the new supermarket sweep. Remember that show? I didn't, I didn't get to watch it the other day, but old uh, game show, supermarket sweep. They brought they brought it back. They're starting to do that with a lot of game shows now. So it should be interesting match game and uh, pyramid a couple other ones they had well of course they got the prices right and the let's make a deal and pressure luck that's a new one they brought that back uh, a couple other ones. you know the one that was really stupid I don't think it's on anymore, but it was on for a little while. It was, um, it was the TV version of Candy Crush. Remember the, you know, the Candy Crush uh, video game where you match all the candy pieces and all that stuff? Well, they did a, a game show out of it. <laughs> and then they had these people hanging from strings and trying to touch all that stuff and make the matches and it was stupid. It was really stupid, but they made it into a game show. <laughs> what did I see? I saw one. Game of Life. <laughs> yeah, a couple other ones like that. Old old game game shows, old up uh, board games. Yeah, some of them were, but yeah, just crazy, crazy stuff. You never know what they're going to turn into a game show or have something silly that they're going to beat the clock. <laughs> it's Double Dare. I heard someone say they're bringing Double Dare back. and <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy people. It's fun to watch them, you know, make fools of themselves on TV and yeah, who knows? But so we'll see. But um, let's see. I've been a little over two hours, so I'll probably think about wrapping this one up and then getting a little sleep tonight. Uh, hope you guys um, are doing good. I'm, I'm sure you guys are kind of tired out there. So, um, I think I'll be, um, wrapping it up and then, uh, I'll be back, uh, Wednesday. 
Wednesday night. I think I'll, t I'll take a, I'll take tomorrow off. Catch up on uh, editing, catch up on other stuff. Get some personal issues worked out. Yeah, Paul, it's, I think it's about, it's about time to wrap it up. But I have a lot of, I got a lot of stuff I got to take care of. Uh, personal issues, uh, videos, other things, research, home stuff. So I appreciate you guys coming in and hanging out with me tonight. Just, you know, being part of the, part of the community. Uh, like I said, as I, as I said, always, thanks you guys for watching. And, you know, the other people that uh, feel they want to, you know, <laughs> feel that they want to, you know, spread the, spread the bad stuff that's fine you know they want to do that they think it's fun go right ahead i just don't understand why you want to be negative but hey that's their thing they want to do it no not home repairs just uh general stuff gotta keep take care of stuff and i don't know just work on a lot of things and paperwork Things like that. So, catch up on my uh, catch up on my series, my movies, um, a lot of other stuff. And like I said, other issues with other people that are acting childish. They know who they are. Only ch only children play with blocks. children throw temper tantrums adults can talk it talk amongst each other and work things out and not have a temper tantrum and stomp away block people not return phone calls and not return uh, messages and ignore people for days on end that's not how Adults act, but some people don't want to act like adults, and I can understand that. So, like I said, you know, there's been things that I got to take care of, and yeah, well, sometimes, well, uh, I'm not going to get into it, but like I said, you know. It is what it is. There's arguments. Everybody has their own arguments, and you know how that goes. Yeah, I know there's patience, but you know how it goes. You get in the arguments, and, and you both do stupid stuff, and battle of the babies. <laughs> Who's going to outdo each other? You know, slap fights, and <laughs> I could make up worse things about you, and I'll block you first. No, I'm going to block you three times. <laughs> Double dog dare you, you know. <laughs> you know how it goes. <laughs> act like, uh, you act like children and you squabble and... Yeah, unfortunately, that's the way it is right now. People are... Yeah, you know, they're they're whining. The Karens, whatever. You know, the Karens are throwing the fits and <laughs> fighting amongst each other, complaining about no masks and complaining about you know, this isn't right. Battle of the babies. I don't know. But no, it's just you know. I'm sure you guys have had that happen. You get into arguments and you both act like children. And uh, Who can make up the worst thing? You know, come up with the best story. And you do it just to, because, you know, <laughs> I don't know, try to outdo the, each other. And it happens, and, you know. Squabble back and forth, and then you throw your temper tantrum, and you don't talk to each other, and you sit and pout in a corner, and you, you know, do all that stuff. It happens. It 
doesn't mean that feelings change or whatever. Sometimes we just act like children. <laughs> I admit it, you know, sometimes I get carried away. Yeah, they are, but, you know, I'm sure it's happened to you, and I'm sure everybody's acted uh, like a baby. <laughs> said stuff and whatever it happens and then sometimes you're just uh, too proud to admit that you know you acted you acted badly acted like a fool a lot of times people end up on judge judy you know make the bad decisions do say bad things do crazy stuff They wrote something bad about them on, uh, you know, Facebook. They wrote bad stuff about them. They called CPS on them or, you know, crazy stuff to get back at them. <laughs> We're all like, it, it all happens. But, you know, bottom line, you know, we're human. We have our fights. We have our differences. We have our squabbles. But at the end of the day... When you realize, you know, you're tech, you really are an adult and you can have a conversation and you can talk to each other and not uh, have problems. So hopefully that'll get worked out. Hopefully they'll, you know, think about what's going on and just make a clean, a clean sweep and start over without all the craziness and stuff like that so anyway hopefully they'll figure it out they'll get the message we could have a conversation or i don't know maybe we have to have a mediator or something it's not gonna happen not gonna happen things are getting you know they're getting blown out of proportion. The more I try to get the the participation and, uh, you know, visibility, the worse it gets. And then it just, the accusations start flying. The things get deleted. They get blocked. They get erased. It's just not, it's not, uh, it's not going to work. I don't know. I don't know what the aversion to the, being part of social media and why why it gets um, blown out of proportion and why all these craziness things are um, put out there that I've done and that other people have done and other people have thought and said and I don't understand it don't no say no wait no 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 don't do that. Don't, please don't put those in here. That's another issue. That's another issue about the whole, the whole issue with putting hearts in the thing and saying the word love. I know, but see, they see it and then they, you know, blow up on it. So that's why I've, I've tried to say, please don't uh, put any kind of affection. Don't do anything. Don't say anything towards me. Because it will get misinterpreted and I'll get crap for it. So that's why I've actually blocked some of those words. But I guess in the chat it doesn't, uh, doesn't take effect. But like I said... I don't understand why people putting a heart in a chat makes them think something is going on, but I don't get it. Like I said, people are entitled to write what they want. It doesn't make them think that, it doesn't say that that's what they're thinking. It doesn't uh, make intentions towards people. So, like I said, that's why I try to 
I try to keep it, you know, drama free. I try to keep it, uh, you know, um, politically, you know, neutral. No, uh, nothing like that. I, I, you know what? I have tried that. I've told them they're welcome to come in here. They're welcome to participate with people. They are not unwanted on the channel. They're not trying to be humiliated. They're not trying to be um, shunned. We're not saying things against them. I want them to participate. I want them to be part of the community and be um, able to, you know, coexist with everybody and not all this um, animosity towards everybody. YouTube is just a fun place to, you know, chat with people, and it's not my whole life. I don't come on here to get away from everybody else. I don't come on here because I'd rather be here with you guys. I come on here just to have a show, just to entertain you guys. That's it. Then I have my personal life. I know, that's the that's the problem. I try, I'm trying to keep the drama off of the channel, but... I don't know how to do that because everything I say and do is being judged. And everything you guys say and do is being judged. So what do I do? What do I do? I don't know how to I don't know how to go about it. I've offered them have them come in here and participate, be a part of the stream, be a part of the show, laugh and joke and talk with you guys. That's all I can do. And I've been, like I said, I've been, I'm trying to keep the drama off. I'm trying to keep it drama free. I'm trying not to get into personal issues. <sighs> That's all I can do. That's why I try to keep it light when I talk with you guys. We do trivia, just talk about general stuff, food, just things that are going on. That's what I want to, but I can't, I, I can't force the issue. So they're going to do what they're going to do. And everything I say and do gets misinterpreted. So that's why I keep quiet. But like I said, I have, to, I have to work on that. I have to work on the communication. I have to work on things. But that's what I said. I'm just trying to keep it to keep it real and um, you know not have problems. And if there are people out there that like to cause all that problems, yeah, that that's the biggest thing. Drama. Other people want to have drama on their channels, they can have the drama on their channels. So anyways guys, I'm going to I'm going to call it a night. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. Thanks for coming in guys. I'll talk to you guys Wednesday. All right, good night everyone.